welcome to the mathematics of my channel today we are going to solve another interesting uh, to a function integral integral from 1 to infinity 2 of x over x to the fourth power dx well how to begin okay first uh, I'm going to split this integral uh, like uh, here 1 to infinity so I'm going to write 1 to 2 2 of x over x to the fourth power dx plus then here 2 so 2 to 3 uh, 2 of x over x to the fourth power dx plus then here 3 so 3 to 4 2 of x over x to the fourth power dx plus we know this is going to infinity okay now we have infinite sum so we can uh, write uh, this infinite sum using sigma notation so we can write uh, n is equal 1 to infinity then integral here 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 so we can write n to n plus 1 now here uh, 1 to 2 of flu of x, 2 to 3 flu of x, so n to uh, n plus 1 flu of x, we know, uh, I think you know about the flu function, so here we have n over x to the fourth power dx, okay then uh, we can integrate this, so here infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity, now uh, here n is a constant 1 over x to the fourth power, so we know minus 1 also here n so minus n over 3 times x cube uh, from uh, n to n plus 1 ok then um, we can plug in n plus 1 and here uh, before it 1 over 3 is a constant so we can write minus 1 over 3 uh, infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity now if we plug in n plus 1 we know n over n plus 1 cube so n over n plus 1 cube uh, then uh, minus now here uh, infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity now we can plug in n so n over 3 uh, sorry 3 we take so n over n cube okay then here minus 1 over 3 now uh, here we know uh, if n is equal 1 to infinity uh, we can use Riemann zeta function we uh, Riemann zeta functions but here um, n over n plus 1 cube uh, how to simplify this okay I am going to uh, right here uh, not n is equal 1 I am going to start with n is equal 2 to infinity so here when n is equal to 2 we know uh, we should uh, reduce reduce uh, this n by 1 so n minus 1 also uh, we should reduce this n plus 1 by 1 so here n cube n cube uh, minus here n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n square okay then um, as the next step uh, we can write this is equal to minus 1 over 3 now uh, here uh, we can divide by n cube uh, by n and minus 1 so we can write uh, infinite sum n is equal 1 to infinity here now n get cancelled so 1 over n square 1 over n square sorry here n is equal to so here 2 1 over n square then minus infinite sum n is equal to 2 to infinity uh, 1 over n cube 1 over n cube then here minus sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n square ok then here minus 1 over 3 now uh, we know this is uh, Riemann zeta function zeta of 2 so 
uh, we know Riemann theta function uh, started with 1 but here 2 so uh, if we add first term um, we can make Riemann theta function so if we plug in 1 here so we know 1 so I am going to add 1 and also subtract 1 so here n is equal to to infinity 1 over n square plus 1 minus 1 and here also minus uh, n is equal to to infinity 1 over n cube plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and minus here we know this is equal to uh, Riemann theta function theta of 2 theta of 2 okay then hmm, here minus 1 over 3 now we know uh, including this one uh, this part we can write sum of n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over n square minus 1 minus now including this one we can write uh, n is equal 1 to infinity 1 over here n cube 1 over n cube minus uh, theta of 2 okay then uh, we know minus 1 over 3 this is equal to again Riemann theta function so theta of 2 minus 1 minus this is equal to theta of 3 minus theta of 3 then uh, sorry here yeah, minus 1 so minus 1 I forgot to write so minus minus plus 1 uh, minus theta of 2 okay then we know this theta of 2 get cancelled this minus 1 this one get cancelled and minus times minus plus so 1 over 3 theta of 3 okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching